Hey guys, what's going on? So this is just a really quick video going over my OBS settings on a single streaming PC. Uh, right now, I, I'm i gonna eventually have two PCs set up, so I have a dual streaming PC to set up, which I'll also do a video about. Um, if you're watching this in, I don't know, a few weeks after posting, that, that should have hopefully have that video up as well. <coughs> but uh, let's go over all the different settings I have. So basically, um, when we go into general uh, English, I like the the dark setting, I guess. It makes it easier to look at, especially like late at night. Uh, automatically check for updates. I don't have anything else really checked. This is all default stuff anyway. Like I haven't really changed anything here, but you can just kind of see my options. Um, I stream, you have to select streaming services, Twitch. East Chicago is the closest to me. You want to pick the server that's closest to you and you get your stream key from your dashboard on Twitch. Uh, I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, for output mode, I use advanced for streaming. Uh, I stream on NVAC. So I'm streaming with my graphics card, not my CPU, which allows me to play uh, newer games and stream them without a lot of FPS loss. You do lose some FPS, but it's not anywhere near as bad as streaming on your CPU, which is just a, you know 264 by itself. Uh, enforce streaming service encoder settings. Um, I don't rescale the output. I stream at 1920 by 1080. CBR 5000, zero, uh, default main auto, you pass zero two. For recordings, these are what I'm, I'm gonna be recording this video on these exact settings as well. Um, you can just see all the settings. Standard, goes to an extra hard drive. MP4, one audio track, not rescale, just 1080p. I use QCP for the rate control in 18. Uh, it was just some settings that I found from like playing around with them. And like, I, I think I looked up a video that somebody else had made on YouTube. I forgot who it was. And the settings seemed to work pretty well for me. So default main auto, two pass encoding, zero two. And then audio, I just leave it all default at 160. Uh, for audio, 44.1 stereo default. Just pretty much leave everything default. I disable the second audio advice and all the other mics and stuff. So this way they don't go off. So I just have my main mic desktop audio. I don't use push to talk or anything like that or push to mute. Uh, I use push to talk in game and in team speak and whatever discord stuff like that. Uh, and then I have an open mic with, uh, I'll show you in a second with a noise gate. Um, so for video 1920 by 1080, no rescales or anything. Lansos, Arpen 32, 60 FPS. I don't have any hotkeys. I don't use any hotkeys. Um, under advanced process priority is high. I've found that I get the stream can look kind of weird sometimes if you don't put it on a high, so that's actually a pretty important setting. Uh, and I pretty much just leave the rest of this all at default. If you want to add a delay, that's right here. I don't add a delay. Um, that's about it for these settings over here. So we'll click OK on that. Um, so now you add scenes. So these are different scenes. So uh, if we go like over here to this other scene, now you can see me. I mean, this is my desktop, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's like tip jar, which is over here, webcam, which I'll show you my settings for the webcam. I have a green screen. So, uh, 720p, 60 FPS. It depends what webcam you have, but you want to go on then you can go to filters, chroma key. And these are my settings for my green screen so that the background is keyed out. So 410, this, this you'll have to mess with on your own. Honestly, this is dependent on the room you're in, the lighting, the green screen you have, lots of different kinds of stuff like that. But these are my settings if you kind of want to like look at them, I guess. Uh, overlay, live overlay for like new followers and stuff. Loots, which is like a uh, ad donation system. Sub count on the bottom. Um, Rainbow Six, the main game that I play. So I have that under game capture and then desktop capture, which we're doing right now. Uh, so we'll go back to local record. So now you can see like there's different scenes that I have set up, like scene one, scene two. This one's just a copy uh local then i just have main webcam like you get you get the idea pretty much over here um and then for for mic settings this is actually pretty important so i have my mic a big thing is if you have your mic on a boom arm uh it's pretty important to do so otherwise you're gonna get a lot of keyboard feedback probably uh, and you want the mic close to your to your mouth uh, so close threshold 32, 28, attack time 25, hold time 200, release time 150, and I use 28 noise suppression. Uh, and for desktop audio, I 
just everything's on default. There's like nothing special there. And then uh, those settings actually Macy gave me, like Macy J. So those are pretty helpful. Thank you, Macy. Um, and like I said, just get a boom arm for your mic. Put it as close as possible to your face. If you have a different mic, then you might, if you don't have like a, a, a mic on a boom arm or something, you're using a headset, you have to also mess with those settings. Um, but yeah, that, that pretty much covers it. So then when you're ready, you just put start streaming or like I'm recording right now, just start recording. Pretty simple stuff. Um, this should like kind of help those people that were, that were asking me like, what were my stream settings and stuff, all that. One thing to make a note of is, uh, for your output settings. So I stream at a 5k bit rate. The maximum bit rate allowed by Twitch is 6,000. Um, but it's based on your internet upload speed. So my internet, I have 20 megabytes upload. So it's only upload download doesn't mean a thing. So my upload is 20 megabytes, and I notice when I stream at a 6K bit rate, I drop frames, my stream lags, stuff like that. So I just stream at a 5K bit rate, which is what my internet can handle. So you need to do a speed test and kind of like mess with it a little bit and see how it looks and stuff like that, like trial and error, I guess, to see what the max bit rate that you can stream at is. Um, but other than that, that's about it, guys. If you're wondering what kind of equipment I use, like what for right now, uh, I'll I'll put a link in I'll put a link in the description. It's going to be under kit. Uh, it'll have all the stuff that I use, peripherals. Um, right now, the gaming PC that I use is the only thing that I'm streaming on. So I'll eventually have that other PC hooked up too, the capture card and all that kind of stuff. I'll do like I said, I'll do a video of that. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, uh, that that might be available to you if it's a couple weeks from this or the release of this video. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if the video helped you out, just you know like the video if you're into rainbow six stuff i don't really do that much stuff like this for the most part i do some i suppose like here and there but if most of you're into rainbow six stuff subscribe for i guess more content like this or well not like this well rainbow six gameplay um but yeah that's that's about it guys take it easy i hope this video helped you guys out and uh i'll see you in the next one